This is our second video in our Book Creator series of using the application Book Creator. And in this uh, session today, we will learn how to add a content. And like I said in the previous video, it's always important for you to know what the end product is. And so, you know, whether it be a student creating a book that they can showcase themselves as writers, or whether it be a teacher creating a book that the students can access and use, um, whether it be with content that they want to learn or just topics that of interest. So for this, um, series today we are going to actually show you how to make a teacher book and we are going to use a backdrop of first grade social studies um, just so you can kind of see what it would look like um, how to create a real book so we're going to open up the application book creator and when you select new book you have several options you have three book shapes and then you also have three different shapes for graphic novels. Now we're going to make a book today. Um, so we're going to choose the portrait, just a personal preference. And right now here is your portrait book. Now if you see the arrow on the right side of the page, this is how you go from page to page. And it just starts out by giving you five pages. If you were to need more than five, then there is a plus button on the right side, which could give you more pages. So we're going to go back to our first page. And this is our cover because it says at the top. And the content we want to focus on in social studies is identifying people important to the American political system. And it was hard for our first grade teachers to find appropriate you know, content for this. So we're going to create our own so that our students can access it. And so by adding content up in the top right corner, there is a plus button. And there are several options for you to be able to add content. You have photos, camera, pen, text, sound, and then you can also add shapes. So we're going to start off just by adding some text. So we're going to click on the text option, and as you can see there's our text box. And because we want to do social studies and um, important people, we're going to type in our title. Important people in American history and hit done. So there it is right there. As you can see, you can move this around anywhere you would like to. Let's click on the adding content and let's try to add some, some more content. Let's say that we have a student that drew a really nice picture of an important person in American history and we want to include that in our book. So what you would do is you would click on the camera option and as you can see, here's my camera, and here's the, the photo that a, that a student made. This is of Abraham Lincoln, and we're going to take the picture. If you don't like the picture, you can hit retake, which is in the bottom left, or you can hit use photo, and we'll use this photo. Now, this is important. Book Creator would like to access your photos. It's only going to ask you this once. You want to say, OK. And there is my image right there. Now let's say though that a student by accidentally hit don't allow. The way to correct that is to just click out of this using the home button. You want to scroll to your settings. And you want to scroll on the left side until you find the application book creator. Click on that. And if they had turned it off, these would be um, grayed out. If they are enabled, then they are green. So we know right now that the photos and the camera are both allowed um, for Book Creator. So we're going to go back to Book Creator. And there's an image that we took. Like I said, it's really powerful for students to have images included in, into their text. But let's say, though, that we also wanted to find an image on the, the internet to include. So we're going to go out of this. We're just going to click on Safari. And we're just going to search George Washington. And we'll search that. Images. And we're going to select this black and white one right here. So what I found with, with making these books is uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds in the top left to load. And you'll see it right next to the Wi-Fi icon. Uh, and if it hasn't loaded, it's sometimes hard to get the image. But this one is loaded. If you hold your finger over the image, and lift up, you have two options. You can either save the image or copy it. Now we want to save it for right now. And what happened was this image 
automatically went into our camera roll. So we're just going to double click, go back to Book Creator, and now we're going to pick the photos because that's pulling photos from our camera roll. And you see right now we have 19 in our camera roll and we actually have four screenshots. We're going to select it from our camera roll. These are all images that I could include, but this is the one that I want, the George Washington one. And I'm just going to resize it just so that it kind of fits better with, with what I have here. Okay. So far, in adding content, we've done photos, we've done the camera, and we've added text. Now the pen, let's go to our next page, and let's add a, our pen. The pen gives the student or the teacher the opportunity to actually include um, writing. So it, it's usually better with a stylus, so we could do George Washington's name. Like I said, I would definitely encourage using a stylus. Right now I'm just using my finger, but a stylus will really give you sharp results. And inside this, we could also change the color. We can change the thickness. You know, we can erase. When we're done, we're going to hit done. And there it is. I'm just going to shrink it up a little bit. Okay. So just to quickly review, we've added a photo. And the photos are things from the internet or your camera roll. The camera option is for you to take a picture of a student's work, something around the room, and include it. The pen is how you can actually write using freehand. Adding text is typed. And then adding sound is one of the most powerful things you can do. So when you click this button here, you can actually add sound. And it's always really a great idea for students that, that can't read yet or, or struggle reading because then they can hear what a good reader sounds like. So when you click, click the sound button, it will start importing and recording your sound. And that is it for how to add content to a book in Book Creator.